All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here. Today we're in Vienna and in this video I want to talk about New Year's resolutions and why they keep you broke. Why they're actually a very, very bad thing. And you know, it's uh, by the time of the recording, it's end of December, you know, 2019 is wrapping up and uh, a lot of people are talking about their grandiose New Year's resolutions and what they want to do next year, and, right? And then you might know that too. You, you go to the gym in the first two January weeks and they're full of people, are full of people doing the exercises very, very wrong. <laughs> and, and full of people that are very motivated and then, you know, you wait for two more weeks. It's maybe beginning of February and it's all back to normal. Why is that? And what are the big mistakes that most people are doing here? Now, obviously, New Year's resolutions are a glorified way of procrastinating. It's a socially acceptable way of procrastinating, right? Because everybody says they will do things, they will get props for that already, and then they go do it a little bit, and then they come up with some random excuse and they get back into their old habits. But more about that later. What I want to talk about right off the bat is that when you go hit the gym in the, more, in the <clears throat> beginning of the year, and most people are doing things very, very wrong, that's a metaphor for business as well, right? So you're watching this channel probably because you like the idea of being free as your own boss, right? Maybe you're thinking about uh, creating an online coaching business or an online service providing business and stuff like that. And uh, you're watching these videos. Maybe you haven't started taking action. Maybe you want to start taking action. But the important thing that you can learn from that, from watching this video, is that most people, they try to do things themselves and that is why they fail. That's one of the reasons why they fail. The other reason is that they procrastinate, but the other reason is that they, they try to do things themselves. And, and what happens when you go to the gym and let's say, for example, you walk up to the squat rack and you want to go hit the gym there and you want to do your exercises, but you have no clue about how to warm up. You have no clue about proper breathing and proper bracing and, and all these things. What happens is you get hurt. You get physically hurt, right? You run danger of hurting yourself. And um, it's exactly the same for business. You're literally hurting your business capabilities, your business body by trying to do things yourself. Cause, and some, some of these damages are quite irreparable, okay? If, that, if that's the right word. Um, so you have to be very careful with when you're starting out that you don't get into this ego trap of thinking like, oh, I wanna do it myself, I wanna be self-made and stuff like that. Here's, here's the thing, everybody that has ever amounted to anything, everybody who's ever cracked a million or more, they're not self-made. Even the self-made people, they still have people that help them, right? They still have mentors. They still have someone and they, they, they look up to because everybody who's smart understands the value of working together with someone who is already where they want to be, right? Which brings into the next point. That is this idea of glorified um, um, saying that you're going to do something and everybody gives you props for that instead of actually doing it. I feel like this is, you know, but this is, has, has started with Facebook when, you know, like you remember right back in the days when everybody still used Facebook, you could write a status and the status would be like New Year's resolution for 2000 XYZ. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to build my business. I'm going to be CEO of so and so. And, and it sounds so fancy to be the CEO of something, right? And, and then everybody gives the likes and they comment like, good luck for you. Yes. And while they encourage the saying of doing something, we subconsciously discourage people from actually taking action. Maybe you know that too. Maybe you've had a friend or maybe you yourself has gotten some results, right? And then your immediate environment started BS talking behind your back, right? They would say like, oh, he's changed. Or they've changed or she has changed and they're different now. They think they're better, etc." It's, it's crazy how people encourage you when you say you want to do things, but they actually discourage you when you actually go do things, right? And that's a very common thing. It's very unfortunate. And the same very common thing is that people have these New Year's resolutions and everybody gives each other's props for these great New Year's resolutions. And nobody actually gives you prompts when you're taking action. So what can you learn from that is this is kind of like a metaphor for life in general. If you want extraordinary results, don't do what everybody else is doing. Okay, really try to pay attention here. Get away from everybody who's not where you want to be and do the exact opposite of them. Okay, who's not where you want to be? Usually someone who's trying things themselves and who are not succeeding. So when you see them doing that, then you go do the other thing, which is go pay a mentor to have you do that, right? Now your friends may say, don't throw your money out the window. You can do things yourself, etc. But if they're not where you want to be, then don't listen to them, right? If most people in your family, in your immediate environment have a uh, New Year's resolution, right? And you're like, well, I kind of want to start now, but New Year's resolutions, everybody, it's around Christmas time now. Then again, like if most people in your environment are broke, don't do what they're doing. Like literally see it like as do the opposite of that. And um, the next thing is 
I've never had New Year's resolutions myself because I always found them quite contradictory because if you want change, then you should do that change right now, right? If you were on fire, imagine your life as a metaphor is on fire. You're walking through the streets of your city and you're on fire. You wouldn't want to wait till the time is right for till it's next Monday, next winter, next rain, whatever it is next year. No, you're on fire. You want to get that fire extinguished right away as soon as you can before you take more damage. And I feel, I feel that's the same kind of mindset that you should have when it comes to change, right? Again, like this is a business channel. So the context is if you want to build a business, for example, if you want to step into visibility, if you want to learn how to make your first sale, if you want to get your business to an actual level where it operates, you know, not just create a YouTube channel, not just create an Instagram, but not having any sales, right? Most people, they try to, to build something without making the uncomfortable steps of getting their first paid client without the uncomfortable step of actually making sales. So many people are in this like fake random I'm hustling world that really make keeps you safe and nice and comfortable because you're creating content and you got to build a website and you got to back then it was printing the business cards and stuff like that. But those are not the necessary steps. The necessary steps that you have to do if you want to have a real business, a long lasting business, is the uncomfortable step of getting your first client, of getting people on the phone, trying to close them and you know, being willing maybe to not to be liked, but at least you can actually help them by, by selling your program to them, right? And again, New Year's resolutions are such an easy thing to say. They're like, oh, I'm gonna work on my sales next year, right? Especially when it, when it comes down to sales, most people speak things like, oh, December doesn't sell anyway. Everything after December 10th, 15th, you can't sell properly. Well, if you've ever looked at a, in an actual successful company, they can still generate tons of sales in December. I'm talking about coaching businesses here, any virtual um, coaching type of stuff, not talking about retail. Clearly for retail, sales go up around Christmas. But yeah, so most people just think it, it doesn't work like that. You know, most people just think, hey, uh, from a certain standpoint, you can't start making money, but that's bullshit, right? And if you know what to do and if you really want to do it, you can actually go make it happen. Okay, changed a little bit of location here, but basically what I'm trying to say is like, of course you can make sales if you know how to make sales and if you stop with the BS excuses, okay? So bottom line, what I'm trying to say here is you want change, go do it now. Go step into the discomfort, go make yourself a little uncomfortable, maybe a little bit unknown, but you have to make it happen. And you know, don't, don't describe too many New Year's resolutions because again, if you truly actually want to change, you got to do it. Right. And, and, and honestly, we're doing the same with our clients. We don't just work with anybody. Like even if they want to pay us a lot of money, there has been people that I'm just like, I don't want to work with you because your mindset is not there. I prefer working with someone who might have much less experience in something, but they're motivated to bring change right now. And you'd have no clue how many people have, have success barriers, all kinds of procrastination, all kinds of their mode where they're building a business for six months haven't even made a single sale and they're keeping themselves literally broke because they listen to their excuses instead of someone else who might even be naive but they take action and they go try to make their first sales etc you gotta understand that the only reason why you're building as a business why are you building a business is so you can generate money because if you don't generate money you can't help people right the money that you're making is like the fuel that keeps the engine running so you're not helping anybody with your free YouTube channel, with your free podcast. These things might be nice to have, right? And we have clients that we're slowly building into a more social media uh, presence, but they're already making money, meaning they're already helping people. They are already have an actual business going on, right? So you have to understand that New Year's resolutions are for people who don't really want change. If you want change, go do something right now, even if it's uncomfortable, even if you feel you're not good enough, even if you feel you're not ready yet. Who cares? You become ready by doing things. Nobody feels ready before. Trust, I've, everything I've ever done, my first world tour, uh, my first client, my first 100 clients, and so on and so forth, I never felt ready for anything, but I went ahead and did it, and I just stumbled into being ready. And the great thing is, <clears throat> I see that many times with our clients, some, some are not 10 out of 10 experts in something yet, but they have the willingness to learn and get better at it, as they're already getting paid, as they already have real life clients, because that is also a big reason, a big way to actually become a great coach by actually teaching clients, right? The teaching of something actually makes you good at something as opposed to trying to be a 10 out of 10 pro expert at something, right? Learn as you go, already get paid. And that's 
that's the way it usually works best. So when you say you're also ready to get started, you don't give a damn about New Year's resolutions, you want to go get started, even if you don't feel perfect, you can literally book a free consulting call either with me directly or with an expert from my team. Link is in the description. All you have to do is you click that link and it brings you to a page. I read what's on that page because it's important information for you to get started. And then at the bottom of that page, you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. Call us entirely for free and on that call, We'll basically be developing a strategy together with you on how you in your specific situation can you know break free from the from the cage of being in a nine to five and start your own hopefully very successful coaching business as an online coach or online service provider and you know this is not a magic pill okay while the call is for free this is you're not going to instantly make a ton of money or something like that this is this is not a get rich very quickly and do it for four or five months and then stop doing it like we're building helping you build a legit long lasting profession long lasting professional business that can actually be scaled over the years to come something that actually works and not some quick thing that doesn't really work on the long run so uh it's only for action takers you still have to take action you still have to implement what we tell you on that call okay this is clear we're not going to do anything for you we'll help you do it we'll guide you through that so if you already have a skill and you want to learn how to monetize it that call is for you if you like the idea of being free you want to help people, you want to be in the online coaching sphere, online service providing, but you don't know what it is that you could be doing, what you could be offering people, that's no problem. We'll figure that out together with you on the call. You'd be surprised how many, how many skills can actually slumber within you, if you will. And obviously, if you're already making some money, but you want to do it more legit, you want to do it in more controlled, you want to do it more long lasting, give us a call as well. We can help you out. Again, link down in the description below. We are getting fuller and fuller by the day. So if there's still dates available, go book those it means we still have a spot open if not then you know we're full temporarily and i hope we can open it at some point so that being said thank you so much for watching go take action don't wait for the new year because that way you can get a head start over everybody else so maybe talk to you very, very soon thank you so much for watching and gg before freedom business mentoring i was kind of i didn't really know what to do i finished my bachelor but then uh, in the process i realized this wasn't really that useful so i decided you know what it, just join freedom business mentoring try to make something of yourself uh, and then I got my first ever close just last week very very excited about it you know it can be difficult in the in the early stages I'm just so grateful for everybody in the program you know the coaches Max himself for setting it up but also just everybody else the whole community that's supporting each other motivating each other is such a great part of it because you see others getting sales and then you're like yo you know this guy joined 12 weeks ago as well. If he can do it, then so can I.